Well, this legal battle over whether abortion should be temporarily banned during the coronavirus pandemic, just like all other elective surgeries have been, revolves around one question. And that question is, is abortion essential? Now, of course, the answer from conservatives will be no, and the answer from pro-aborts will be yes. But that is the fundamental question, because there's not really a debate at least not a controversial one going on, about whether these other non-controversial elective non-essential surgeries should be allowed to be performed during this pandemic. It's only the surgery of abortion that's generating so much hype and firestorm in our political discourse because not being able to kill your baby means you have to be responsible for your sexual choices, and it means you might have to parent and embrace parenthood of the child that's already in your womb whose appointment to murder them was inconvenienced because of the coronavirus. So is abortion essential or not? Well, elective non-essential surgeries are those that are scheduled in advance because they are not a medical emergency, right? That's what makes it elective. That's what makes it non-essential. If I get shot, if I get stabbed, if I get in a car accident, if I am in some other type of horrific accident and I'm rushed to the emergency, that's not elective and that's not non-essential. It's essential. It's immediate. I need immediate help. So by definition, abortion is not essential because it is scheduled in advance because it's not a medical emergency. There are, of course, many highly important elective surgeries that may eventually be essential for the patient's life and livelihood, but don't require immediate surgery. So we may see actually some significant medical issues moving forward in the next few weeks here of people who did have surgery scheduled that are very important. They just weren't emergency ones, and we may need to change some of the guidelines to account for that. By the way, the reason to temporarily halt elective non-essential surgeries is, is twofold, and we talked about this a couple of weeks ago. It's one, to stop the spread of the virus, by having less physical interactions with others, particularly in surgery, where you're very close with one another. And secondly, to free up personal protection equipment and beds and ventilators for those fighting this virus. And again, two weeks ago, we talked about how Planned Parenthood has actually been soliciting donations for personal protective equipment, while all other healthcare providers are stopping their non-essential elective surgeries in order to donate the personal protective equipment to those in hospitals who may begin to become overrun by patients who have been infected with coronavirus. So obviously, the abortion industry is an incredibly selfish industry who's keeping these equipments for themselves, soliciting donations for more, and suing states like Texas in order to, to, to continue performing abortions. But abortion is not essential because abortion is not an emergency surgery to save the patient's life. Abortion is an elective procedure that murders the patient's child. The mother's child, the baby. Abortion is not essential because in the su even in the super minority of cases where the mother's life is on the line due to her pregnancy, abortion is not needed to save the mother. If your life is being threatened by your pregnancy, you do not have to intentionally kill the child in the womb through an abortion to save the mother's life. You can induce early labor or perform a cesarean section. And lastly, abortion is not essential because abortion does not address or fix any illness or underlying pathology. There is nothing wrong with the patient's body that abortion fixes. Abortion actually interrupts the perfectly natural functioning process of the female reproductive system by killing the human being growing in the womb that she was created to reside in. This entire thing is perfectly natural. It's how the human body was created to operate. We all know this, whether you approach biology from a theistic or atheistic approach, we all understand that this is natural. This is how the body was created to perform. So abortion doesn't solve a problem. It doesn't fix an illness. It doesn't help the patient who is sick. It eliminates a child whose only fault is being conceived by typically the consensual sex of their parents. So obviously abortion is not essential, but that is what the abortion industry is pushing in order to continue operating. And it is only by assuming that abortion is essential that a lawsuit against the state of Texas even makes sense. How dare you include abortions and other non-essential elective surgeries that you're temporarily banning in order to cater 
to the health of Americans. How dare you do that? Obviously, this is a selfish and financial incentive that's driving the abortion industry to do this. 